Protecting the Earth is hard. Luckily, with Earth, Fire, Wind, Water, and Heart, Captain Planet is able to swoop in and save the day. Similarly, HR teams have to tackle a lot. Recruiting, performance management, payroll, learning and development, and resource management fall on their shoulders, so having a solid HRIS, or Human Resources Information System, can make or break an organization. That said, there's a bunch of different kinds out there, so in this vid, we'll take a look at five different types of HRIS tools and look at what specific challenges they're built to tackle. But before that, hi, I'm Kyle, and I'll be walking you through this overview of five types of HRIS tools. If you find this video helpful, do me a favor and hit those like and subscription buttons down below. We'll start off our list with Operational HRIS, which are HR systems that help people managers and HR staff with the hustle and bustle of moving folks around. These solutions are used for companies that want to prioritize developing and investing in their employees. For instance, internal job posting systems help to identify a need for a certain role and hopefully a candidate within the organization that can fill that need. This helps employees advance their careers and ensures that there's enough support to take on the new role when the time comes. ATS, or Applicant Tracking Systems, can also be included in operational systems, although they are also often their own separate solution. When included though, they are used to identify qualified candidates for jobs and streamlining the tasks associated with bringing them on. Performance management systems are also part of operational HRIS to support employee retention, promotion, transfer, job rotation, or contract termination needs. Strategic HRIS tools help with analysis, decision making, and goal setting in relation to workforce planning. These are useful for growing organizations that want to be intentional about the employees they hire and develop in order to find the right talent and reduce turnover. Job analysis and design tasks involve identifying the necessary background skills, scope of responsibilities, reporting structure, and salary for any given role. This functionality helps identify skills and role gaps in the current workforce, all of which have downstream implications for recruiting strategy as well as learning and development. A recruiting information system stores specific skills that hiring managers analyze when evaluating candidates. It also gathers useful hiring metrics to help HR teams optimize hiring processes. These metrics include the number of current openings, how and where they're advertised, time to fill vacancies, and time to onboard new hires. A learning management system, LMS, supports succession planning as operational decisions are made regarding job rotations or promotions. It tracks skill sets for employees across the company and identifies employees who are ready to pursue additional training or certifications based on recent changes to their roles or responsibilities. The tactical HRIS category targets efficiency and compliance for functions like compensation, recruiting, training, and benefits. Tactical HRIS functions support macro-level HR decisions about how to most effectively invest and allocate resources. Tactical HR modules aggregate external data related to competitors, the industry, and the new federal regulations that inform job analysis and design. Compensation and benefits management modules affect employee recruiting and retention. From a leadership perspective, salary and benefits are two of the most expensive investments an organization makes in its employees. Therefore, company leaders have a vested interest in regularly reviewing the organization's benefits package and compensation strategy. As the name implies, a comprehensive HR information system functions as a one-stop shop for storing any information needed to perform nearly all HR functions. It serves as a central repository for a wider range of data that supports operational, strategic, and tactical HR functions combined. These three functions do not operate in a vacuum, rather they influence each other in different ways. For example, data about a role's design in terms of where it fits and the reporting structure and how it contributes to a company's goals serve both operational and strategic angles of job analysis and design. It makes sense for larger businesses to use a comprehensive HRIS since it integrates data across all three types of functional systems. This information provides valuable insight so HR and business leaders can make informed decisions quickly. Smaller businesses, however, may want a simpler HRIS solution that fulfills core HR needs. In this case, comprehensive HRIS may be overwhelming to implement and maintain. Plus, the price point of a comprehensive HRIS puts it out of reach for many smaller businesses' budgets. In contrast to a comprehensive HRIS, a limited function or specialized HRIS focuses on one or a few core information systems to support a narrow list of HR functions, such as payroll and benefits administration. They're a less expensive option compared to comprehensive HRIS solutions, and even HR teams of one can manage this kind of software alone. A limited function HRIS is therefore generally suited for smaller companies with lean HR teams. 
And that does it for our list of the five main types of HRIS tools out there. If you found this helpful, throw us a like and subscription down below. For more information on all the HR tools that are out there, visit our website at technologyadvice.com for our free list of the top options available today. Click the button on the left to get started.